Oh, there's already some good stuff in here. I can tell. Can you see it, right? Yes. Okay, okay. What is going on? There we are. We exist right here. Can you see yourself? Yes, I can. That's funny. Okay. And it says recording this time. Oh, thank heavens. I found the little <laughs> triangle that helps us. Do you want to introduce yourself before? Because this is like a whole new thing. Yeah. Okay. So like reintroduce myself. Yeah. In the who beginning. are you? Who are you? Okay. Yeah. Who am I? All right. So I am Jess Ramos and I am a data analyst in the fintech world. So my educational background is in math and Spanish. I'm just really passionate about math and speaking Spanish. And I didn't know how to turn that into a career. So I went to grad school, which is what everybody kind of does when they don't know what to do with their lives. So I got my master's in business analytics. And for the past few years, I have been working in data analytics and data science in the fintech space. And yeah, I'm just really passionate about inspiring others in data and tech and women in STEM. Thank you. That's Thank me. you. Thank you just for coming to the show. Really appreciate it. I know you've been speaking for three weeks now and you're finally <laughs> yeah. here. Um, we actually, guys, we shot the entire episode with Jess and I, and I forgot to record it. So we're back again doing this. There's going to be a different episode where we go through um, 10, about 10 uh, data science memes and we kind of judge them upon the merit of uh, intellectualness or whatever. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, do you also sometimes want to select some memes from here? And then I'll click it and it'll zoom up. And you can judge. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Um, the Winnie the Pooh one because I have some comments on that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Statistician, data science. Okay. Let's. Uh, you wanna bring it up? Maybe. Usually there's three. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I have some comments on this because I am a math person. I studied math in yeah. college uh -huh. and it really prepared me well for a data career. You don't need a math degree to work as a data scientist or a data analyst, but a lot of the underlying foundations, especially in data science, are math. So it drives me crazy when I see posts sometimes where people say, oh, you don't need math to work in data science. like." Okay, you don't need like hardcore math most of the time, but data scientists are basically statisticians. Like you're working with statistics, building models that are built off mathematical principles. So it just drives me crazy when people act like they don't need math at all. Yeah, yeah. and I'm one of the worst mathematicians that I know of, and I am one of them, data scientists. So if I can do it, anybody can. Moving on to the next meme. Exactly. That sounded really mean. That is not what I meant. But like, it's fine, it's I just fine. mean you don't need to be like a math genius to work in data science, but you, you know, you've got to yeah, have a good foundation. You don't need to have it. This one is also very similar. Kind of. Um, oh let's... my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Statistics just doesn't sound as exciting as data science. So you know, hey, that's you know, the part. That's the, it's the, that was a great explanation from me, the math major. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a good one. We discussed this. We saw this before. Yes. Um, on our blotched episode, this was there, and it was really funny. Um, so, yeah. Let's do this one. Data scientist. What my friends think I do, which is actually what they thought I did. What my <laughs> mom thinks I do is, yeah, the matrix. I build the matrix. What society thinks and hack I do, computers and hack computers always yeah yeah, yeah grand parents too what my boss thinks i do i don't think she thinks i do anything you know <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. no comment i'm kidding jennifer relax love you uh what i think i do yeah we think we're pretty hot shit yeah. what i actually yeah, do I is that. yeah what i actually do is pretty <laughs> accurate the monkey yeah okay also like the what my mom thinks I do that one makes me laugh the most because I feel like explaining to like your parents or your grandparents like when I tell them I work in fintech and I work in data 
like they think I just like hack computers and like you know like look at excel sheets all day which that's kind of true but they just yeah. don't know what it is at all yeah same here I don't explain my grandparents what I do I'm like I make a lot of money yeah that's They're all you gotta worry about proud, don't worry about it happy <laughs> proud okay which one select one um we'll pop up um, um we we had wait. something similar like this yeah wait the one where they're at the party uh, this one right yeah okay let's see <laughs> a data scientist wife posted a birthday party for him <laughs> dead <laughs> okay but the data scientists have to be a guy in the meme why can't it be a girl just saying just okay okay Okay, let's see. We had something like this already. Data, data everywhere. It was not this one, but very similar. Okay, I have a SpongeBob one here. Let's do it, okay? Oh, I love SpongeBob Me memes. Me too, I love SpongeBob. Um, I'm a neurologist. What is that? It means he's afraid of neural <laughs> networks. <laughs> okay, this is very, in our, you know, industry joke, okay? No, it doesn't. GPT-3, <laughs> stop it, Patrick. I'm afraid of GPT-3. Okay, wait, I don't know what GPT-3 is. This is like this algorithm that Google invented, uh, which helps to predict what you're going to say. So it can write a story out of a few words you give it. Something like that. Oh. Like it, it can predict what is the next word or the next sentence based on what it previously has been taught. So I, at least that's what I got the gist of from reading a few of the articles. So it's kind of scary. Yeah, that's really cool, but also scary. Cool, but also scary. It's like textual AI, you know? Okay. Which one do you want? I'm um, giving you a chance. Ooh, yeah. The SpongeBob with the Squidward in the lawn chair. This one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay, that's that's good. That's really how that's really how it is though. I mean, my master's was in data science, but mine was in business analytics and it escalated kind of quickly. Yeah. Okay, what is this? This was like a really large meme, so I had to click on it um just to see. Wait, which one? Oh, this it's one. okay, I see now. Yeah. Results are the iceberg and prediction is the Titanic. How many people feel about data science right now? So is it like the results tank your predictions, like what you think is going to happen? Feel about data science, right? Doesn't now. happen. Did they think that this career was, they're predicting a lucrative career and the result is it's not something like that, maybe? I don't know. Too deep for us to understand. Too deep. Yep. It's thinking. It's going to take a <laughs> while to, sorry, too soon. Um, what else? Oh, um, okay. The far left side. Far left. The, yeah. The girl in the red dress below that one. Oh, it's a python. Untitled 25. Yeah. An untitled 24. Oh my God. Yeah. This <laughs> is a python show. I always like, so it's like version control, but mm -hmm. then I don't even do a good job like naming my files. So yeah. I'll have like, old 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 number two number and I, two you know i just keep adding to it adding numbers to it do you do dates? Have like 10 finals um yes so i i do date all of my files yeah but then i try to i try to name them as things that tell me like you know what the last edit was if that makes sense okay, okay when i name them properly let's do two more because we're kind of running out of time unfortunately because of the blotched episode, I think the Zoom is cutting down the you know time limit. You choose the last two. You're my guest, and I'm really enjoying this. Actually, it's better than the blotched okay. episode. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. It's because I'm picking them. Okay. I, um, I'm gonna have a talk with my best friend. Don't worry. I I got you. I got your back. Keep scrolling. Yes, ma'am. Bad hmm. friend. <laughs> Wait, the dog one in the far left. This one? 
data um, scientist in the 90s. I've oh, yeah, written a neural net completely from scratch. If only I had enough computation power to run it faster. Data scientist in 2020. Help me, please. I cannot install tensor. Okay, that's so me. That is literally, okay, yeah. I yeah. can't even laugh because it's just true. It's so true, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That's kind of sad. Why we need to up our game as data scientists? I know. Honestly, though, installing everything is the hardest part sometimes. It is. It is. Okay, last one, ma'am. Okay, we got to end on a really good one. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what's Captain Jack Sparrow? Oh, I love him. That one might be funny. When they asked you to clean the data and you cleaned all of it. Wait, I don't get it. He removed it. The database is clean now. It's squeaky clean. There's oh, nothing. like cleaned. Oh. Ooh, that, yeah. that, this is how we're going to run out of our you know, company building if we like clean all of it. So Honestly, if that happens, you just got to quit your job and move on. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, this is actually funny. <laughs> this was good. This was good. I do have one question to ask before you leave. It's... um. I also ask this to all my guests, right? I'm ready. If you had all the power in the world, okay, what would you do? What would you change in this planet, planet Earth? So if I could change anything, I would make the world a more loving place. And I know that sounds super cheesy and cliche, but I really think a lot of issues that happen in our world come from a lack of love, a lack of love for other people. There's a lot of divisiveness in the world in general, but especially in the United States right now, people turned against each other. And also, I just feel like people need more love and compassion for like, you know, the environment Yes. Mm -hmm. and just other people in general. I think a lot of issues could be fixed with that because other things like you know money like i just feel like that really can't even fix a lot of issues i think a lot of it comes down to people just having love and respect for other people and the world yeah respect have so. other people said that answer on your show not exactly that not exactly okay that. okay but i feel the same thing yeah well thank you just for coming to the show